Waiting for you. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. yeah. Better leave now. I'll get Freddie to motor it from me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Steady. Thanks very much, Thank Chris. See you much, later. Chris. At 7.40, and since Madeleine McCann went missing nearly two weeks ago, her parents and extended family have been determined to keep her in the public eye. And as each day passes, the McCann family have sought different ways to generate headlines. Celebrities, David Beckham, Martin Johnson, have been touched by her plight and uh, they've willingly lent their support to the family. Well, Madeleine's aunt, Philomena McCann, has coordinated the campaign in the UK. Yesterday, she met MPs and even spoke to the Chancellor and soon-to-be Prime Minister Gordon Brown. The family have produced a publicity DVD as well to try to keep Madeleine in the public eye. The two-minute film was played last night to fans of the two Spanish teams contesting the UEFA Cup final in Glasgow. Well, with so much publicity, does the McCann's personal tragedy begin to feel like public property? Well, let's discuss that with columnist Sue Carroll and publicist Mark Bokowski. Very good morning to you, Ben. Hello. And Mark, if I could talk to you, you said there it's a personal tragedy, but public involvement is the key to ending it. I think the media is shaping this campaign, and there's a drive, obviously, from, from the aunt, from, from, from the McCann aunt here. But it's, it's an outpouring of grief. It's something we all want to get involved with. It's, they've showed huge solidarity amongst the family. They've showed great bravery, great stoicism, you know, at a very difficult time. Imagery in PR terms is all, and that, that, that walk along the beach, gripping hold of the soft toy, everything about it is an, an, an excellent idea of how you generate interest. And yes, of course, you want to get drawn in because it's something we all feel very desperate about ourselves. And I think, you know, you've seen the great British public all getting involved because they want to help. And last night's film, you know, in Spain, great sort of moment to actually get your message across to try and get outside this country because it has to be a European campaign because if the child is out there being abducted horribly you know you need that oxygen of publicity you need to direct people to this and it's a fantastic job that's being done but the media need it at the end of the day 24 7 here we are talking about yeah. it it's yeah. a story do you agree with that sue you know oh, so desperate for more details about what may or may not well i think you know it's just driven very much by a huge public appetite for what is a harrowing awful story but people want to know more and more about it it's very difficult with a story like this because you know making an old story fresh as we all know is a very difficult thing to do so the family has been, you know, you really need the people involved in this to cooperate. And, of course, the family are very media savvy. They, they really are helping every single day with a different impetus, a different idea, a different and that angle. And you've got something else to run in your Absolutely, but very, mu very much is dependent, I think, as well, upon the fact that there is a vast, huge public appetite but, for this story. But why, Sue? Why this and not many of the other personal tragedies that take place? What are your readers saying to you? I think they, they've got, they, everybody's got a different view on this. They all, it's quite a controversial story in some ways, and everyone has a, a different theory and a different idea about it. But I think everybody's just driven by this desperation to get Maddie back. And I think it touches absolutely everyone. It creates, the story like this is so emotional, it creates a kind of community. It's, it, it, almost in an absence of religion in Britain, we've become quite fervent about this. We, we've, we're praying, we're joining together, we're tying yellow ribbons and putting flowers in front of places. We, it's mm. become very, very, very religious almost. We're fragmented, I think, nowadays, and these events bring us together. Together, that's absolutely you know, right. I mean, you know, I think, if you go back to Diana, you know, that sort of moment, it just, just brings everybody to this moment, and, and this is what this, this, this is about, you know. Um, the fact that we are hopeless is not much we can individually do, but as a group of people, we want to show us our... So almost by willpower, I Absolutely. Think. Well, they've, they've been very positive. They're talking all the time, Absolutely. as they should be. Absolutely. And I think we immediately respond to that, because we've all, I've, I've got a child, you know, two children. I'm certainly been in that situation where you think, my God, I've... That is the connection, isn't it? Yeah, that's what the, really strikes a chord with millions and I millions think, of families. I do also think that people... It brings back the story of Ben Needham, who disappeared 16 yeah. years ago Greece. in Greece. And so little was done then. We compare the two campaigns, and there is no comparison. The world has moved on. We're more media savvy. That you know, We've got the internet. People are aware of what they can do. But, you know, he slipped off the radar a long, long time ago. I know, and the, and what, from the very beginning, this family have said, we must keep this in the agenda. We've got to keep it in the headlines. Well, I spoke to Kerry and um, Ben Needham's mum yesterday, and she said exactly, you know, things have changed significantly. And totally. uh, if you're advising the family now, they've been doing all this with the posters, the DVD, getting personalities to, to, to endorse the cause. What would you be telling them? How, how do they keep it in the public eye? Well, they're, they're doing a damn good job yeah. at the end of the day, as Sue said. 
the difficulty for any publicist is to keep the thing running. How yeah. do you refresh? How, sooner or later, it started to slip, slip out of the papers yesterday, and then we have this sort of moment with the video and uh, the football last night. You know, we've had runs, we've had politicians. I think it's going to be very, very difficult now. I think what's happening now, we're sucking in these suspects, you know, who potentially keep the story alive. That's the danger for those people if yeah. they have no involvement with this. There's a pack of journalists down there who are being forced by their editorial teams to get us a story, get us an exclusive on this. This is a hot story at the moment. And the danger is other people getting sucked into might divert away from the real issues that they've got to focus on. And of course, Portuguese law, Portuguese police is different from here. We've got Crime Watch. We've got, mm. we've got a savvy media that want to get involved with this. Out there, it's very different. This is a sort of British, British thing rather than a European well, issue. Well, let's just hope it does disappear from the public eye very soon because we get a positive a resolution. Positive. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you both very much Thank indeed. You. Now, a quick look at the time for you. Just after a quarter to eight. This